every Sonic game has, um, I guess a zone, or at least of the first, you know, in fact it may be every Sonic game, uh, it has a zone that is all mechanical, um, to represent, you know, Dr. Robotnik's kind of, uh, home fortress. And Scrap Brain Zone is that level for Sonic 1. Um, it's all mechanical. It's also incredibly difficult. Um, there are a lot of traps, like that one. Like, I don't understand the point of having just fire spitting down. It seems like a waste of resources, honestly, Robotnik. Um, but maybe that's, uh, you know... Maybe, I, I imagine you'd be pretty libertarian, and, you know... If you want to waste your resources, then that is your prerogative. Oh, jeez. That's another thing, like these saw blades. Like, and the bomb guys. All of our favorite enemies from every zone. Also this. Um, that. I don't, I don't even need to explain it. Let's try going the other way this time. Thanks, Caterpillar. We're gonna try to go this way and... Thanks, Caterpillar! I guess we'll go this way. This seems familiar. Okay. Um... Scrap Brain is... of, like... I'm not super big on, you know, mechanical sort of... Uh, environment, but of the, um, come on. Oh. Okay, I'm trapped in a pit. I really like the music, though. The music was, um, they would bring it back for Brawl, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's in Brawl, at least. Um, for the, uh, for the one Sonic stage. Those things sort of look like ice cream sandwiches to me. I don't know about you. Uh oh. Yep. I am now trapped in the, uh... Electric pit. Great. This is, uh, it's pretty challenging. Okay. Come on. The timing for this is, is crap. I guess I gotta, like, stay up here until I get the timing right, like that. There we go. There we go. There we go. One thing I do like about this, now that I think about it, is that, like, speed is almost, a, like, a detriment. Um... Am I stuck? Okay. This is really good. I'll just have to play the patience game here. But it seems like speed is a de or is Sonic speed is a detriment in this stage. Because if you go too fast, then you're bound to accidentally like get yourself into one of these like stupid traps. That was okay. Okay. I don't even know what's going on anymore. What? What is this thing? It's like a... a pig? Also, like, if Robotnik doesn't like, you know, animals or nature or anything, why does he design all of his robots to look like Pokemon? Like... This is like a predecessor of Grumpig. Maybe he just... I guess since Pokemon is a video game, he likes video games. So we're right there, this is the last opportunity we had to uh, get uh, into the special stage. And we blew it. Okay, more mechanical. We are inside the factory now. That, like, back there kind of looks like a face with the uh, purple things as the eyes. Oh, this is pretty fun. So if you spin on here, then you can speed up and... Get the timing right. Skip. Nope. Good. Timing is not one of my stronger skills. Great. 
Okay. 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 Oh. It's not okay. Ah. Oh, can you do that? I was holding down there and it made me drop. So maybe if I just hold up here, it'll like shoot me up on its own. Okay, that works, whatever. Caterpillars. Oh, I totally hit that on the head. Not cool. Okay, this is fun. It's like a little elevator sort of thing, even though it's not what an elevator is. I'm so terrible at words. Okay. Fire. Fire bad. Ah! Everything bad! Okay, up. See, as soon as, the moment you start going at all, like, the moment you have any speed, you get hit by something. Ah, ah! This, okay, 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 here's another one, here's another one. These are conveyor belts I'm standing on. Ah, fire! Okay. Oh, this is gonna suck. Look at this! Look at the timing of this! Okay. the factory of danger. This is where they manufacture danger. Okay, okay. Alright, just jumped over that pit. That's fine. Okay. Ah, ah! I, would, I could make joke like it was a close shave, but I did get shaved. What the? How am I... Okay. No, I don't want to get crushed by that, you know, piston deal. Oh, okay. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. Alright. We gotta be getting near the end here. This is... This is terrifying. I'm terrified. Except not really. I'm a very stalwart individual. Ah! Uh, like, you know, you think this would be like... Oh! I thought I could destroy that. Fortunately, the final boss is pretty easy. There was no checkpoints! There was no checkpoints! No! Ah! <laughs> Why are there no checkpoints? <gasps> no! Don't throw me down! I guess it goes slower if I'm just, uh, walking. Okay. Oh! There we go, that works. Let's go this way again, since it seemed to be pretty safe, for the most part. At least, maybe now I'll have, like, memorized the traps. Like, uh, you know, I wanna be the guy, sort of style. Oh, okay, okay, up. Oh. Pit of death. Pit of no rings. Oh, okay, pit of two rings. I do not have seven rings in hand. I... Ah! Oh, no! I died. I don't think I have a continue either. Do you guys know what the... Uh, level select cheat is it is up down left right b a start great so we are on scrap rain stage stage two great this is a really good start um just jumping straight into the pit of electricity the pit of death ah! You have, like, no control over yourself in the air after you jump from these things. That works. Okay. I guess that is how momentum works, I guess, in real life, so... Let's get the timing right, how about? Okay. Uh. 
Ah! Okay. Let's stop. The commentary, I feel, is getting kind of crappy. So let's think of a topic to top topic about. Did you know that Sonic Adventure 2 is on Steam? And in fact, it was part of, it was part of the Steam Summer sa Summer Sale. Um, that's when I got it. Unfortunately, my computer can't run it really well. Um, so I'm, which kind of inspired me. Like I'm starting to think about getting a new computer. Uh, oh, there's stuff down here. I didn't even know. Um, I want to get a new computer just so I can play a you know 10 or 11 year old Dreamcast game. So I can run it without it being jumpy or laggy or. Sonic Adventure 2 is one of my favorite Sonic games, in all honesty. If not my complete favorite. Um, oh, goodness. Okay, well this this seems pretty Danger Town. That works. That's, that's fine. But yeah, it was on Steam and I got it. And there's like achievements and everything. Uh, they have, you can unlock, like, the battle, uh, as an, um, as an expansion. Oh, wait, okay, this seems familiar. This seems like where I died last time. No, wait. We'll try up this time. Oh, hey, this can only be good. But yeah, I'd really like to get a good computer so that I can play Sonic Adventure 2 and, um... Speaking of that, there's, uh, a couple of pretty famous Let's Players that are doing a Sonic Adventure 2, uh, versus, um... Which I guess can potentially lead me into other things to talk about. Um, I don't think I've yet talked about, like, some of my other projects. Um... Am I near the end? I really... I really hope I'm near the end. Yes! I made it! Okay. So, what's unique about the end of this stage is, um, like I said, you can't get to the special stage from here because there is a cutscene. As you can see, here is, there's like this invisible barrier. Robotnik presses a switch and dumps us into our favorite place, the Labyrinth. Uh -huh, so we have to deal with this stage once more. Um, except now the water is purple because it's been infested by you know, Dr. Robotnik's chemicals. But for all intents and purposes, it's basically just a labyrinth stage um, but also for all intents and purposes it's the hardest stage in the game so if the last stage was any indication I'm gonna bet that there are no uh, checkpoints plus we gotta deal with water physics um, oh. get some good ring action going on so let's get some air so I don't drown. I would like some air action, some oxygen. Oxy, oxy clean. Okay, let's just jump through here. Small jump, great. So this button should open up this, all right. Oh, there is a checkpoint. That's exciting. For me. It might be exciting for you too, I don't know. I feel like the commentary has been so crap that most people have probably like clicked away from the video. Which is fine. I mean, that's your prerogative. I don't, you know, do whatever. I'm doing this for me. I I like playing video games. I like commentating over it. I like editing. Um, so, that's, I'm just going to do it for me. And who knows? Maybe, maybe with practice, I'll be able to turn this into something that other people would be able to appreciate too. Maybe I'll be famous one day. Who knows? Maybe I'm deluded. 
Air. Please. Oxygen. O2. Yay. Alright, we'll go through this little tunnel deal. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. That was a pretty clever trap. Set up by... I don't know, whichever... Colony created an underwater... I guess the, um, the labyrinth probably wasn't built underwater. Uh, it probably, like, is a sunken ruin sort of, uh, deal. 50 rings, nice. Let's see how long I can hang on to- Oh, goodness! I saw that. I saw the little, like, metal, um, center of the, uh, spinning spike- Whoa! I did not see those spikes, though. I did not see those spikes. You got me. That was... wow. I'm impressed. Call me impressed. Call me Ishmael. Eh, forget him. Oh no! Water's rising. Ugh. Okay, so we have, uh, we have to just hope that a big bubble comes out of here. Oh, goodness. Okay, thank you, game lag. <laughs> when the music just stopped, it was just like... It was devastating. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the level just sort of ends, and we're in the final boss. Um, the final boss, which is a pushover in this game. Because what you just saw right there, uh, with the pistons and then the electric balls, that's the entire fight. So, uh... And he changes which piston he comes out of. He's just being nice to me, I guess. Um... See? Oh, you got me. But yeah, the final boss in this game is a joke. Compared to, like, Labyrinth Zone and just Scrap Brain Zone in general, like, this is... The final boss is laughable. I forgot how many hits it takes. I haven't been paying attention. Um... What I'm planning on doing after this is, uh... I'm going to try to set up some uh, montage of... Uh, I'm going to try to get all the Chaos Emeralds so that I can show you the true ending. Um, because if you don't have all the Chaos Emeralds, then you will not get the actual true ending. So there we go. We beat him. Yeah. And so there he is. He's in his uh, little Ag Walker and he flies away. Shame. So we have returned home. We've brought back the uh, the penguins and the seals and the pigs and uh, the bunnies. They're all natural to this habitat, I guess. And that's uh. So that was uh, Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, like I said, there's going to be a little bit more because I'm going to try to get all the Chaos Emeralds. Uh, and then we'll, um, you know, do the final boss again and show you the true ending. If it's any different, I don't remember because it's been years since I actually beat this game. Um, but it is what it is. So... I want to see if there's one name I want to look for in particular in the um, in this little ending medley. I think it's also interesting to see like how if you look, look at like the game credits for um oh these the game audio is not matching up to the level it's showing. I think that's pretty funny, but um let's put a sentence together. 
if you look at the credits for like modern games, you know, there's tens to hundreds of people that are working on these things. But if you count like all the people that worked on like Sonic, there's like just a handful, like five or ten maybe. Um, and I think it's just interesting to see like that you know so few people created a game that was so influential and so good, so well, um, not well selling, because that's not how you would construct that sentence. Um, such a a good selling game, great selling game, such a profitable game it was you know had so few people working on it. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, there's Dr. Robotnik. He's got all the Chaos Emeralds because we did not get any since our last game over. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys for my Chaos Emerald montage. <laughs>